What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, guys. So we wanted to talk today about social media and how it impacts and affects relationships. So this is a big topic. Social media is so big now. And we just wanted to talk about what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. And this is our perspective and our separate perspectives on what we think is appropriate and inappropriate. So um, just hang in there with us and then we're going to kind of go through some questions. All right. The first question is, is it okay for you to have friends from the opposite sex on your social media? I would say yes. I would say it's okay to have friends from the opposite sex on your social media as long as they know, like, the boundaries. And it's not anybody who you have had, like, a sexual relationship with or anything if you are in a current relationship. Because I do, or if you have had a sexual relationship, like your partner is okay with it, and you know, like there are like if there's any boundaries or whatever. Because like some people, they're like swingers and things of that sort, so like they're cool with that type of thing. So gotcha. I just feel like it depends on your relationship. Yeah, I, the first thing I will say is I agree with you. Um, as long as you, you didn't have any intimacy and or no any type of. Uh, you know, heavy physical interaction with them, it should be fine. But um, it depends on your spouse because ultimately we want to be free and, and have our own selves outside of our relationships, but we don't want negative things affecting our relationship. So I think that should be a dialogue. So we might not have had an issue or any intimacy with that person, but what if, what about if our spouse, like say we went to the same school or lived in the same city, I don't know that they have good interactions with that person so i need to kind of ask because you i mean you just never know you know and especially as we you know we grew up in the same city so we might have good interactions and bad interactions with people you know you might know somebody and i'm like nah i don't really like that person i know they do some grimy stuff so i just have a conversation about it and being honest and up front is the is the key because anytime you have somebody on your social media and you know it could be questionable and you don't yeah. say anything, don't do it's, it. it seems <laughs> it's suspect. Yeah. It's super Thank sus. So if you are fine with it being an issue and it's worth damaging your relationship, by all means, go ahead. But I don't think that's what y'all want. So just talk about it, right? Talk about it. All right, so what do you think about, like, inboxing, DM, um, like, meeting up, tagging, and things of that sort? No, no. No inboxing, no DMing, nothing like that. Anything that you got to say, you can say it on a public forum. Um, if they're a person that you interact with and that we, we both know, then it should be a phone call or a text message or something that, hey, hey, babe, uh, so so John Jacob Jr. Hammer Smith <laughs> said, hey, let's get together and I'll go to the game. Right. Oh, bet. All right. So that's something you tell me and then I, then we can coordinate it. But that could cause issue too, because I'm like, why did he talk to you about it? And I always feel like when it's a person of the opposite sex, they should communicate through the same sex, right? So if it's a guy that you know, he should be cool enough with me and know me enough to say, say hey, I'm going to talk to your husband because I want to, you know, all of us to get together and do something as a group or something. Okay, then communicate with me. But don't just be talking to her about you want to meet up and we're going to do this and we're going to do that, making plans for our family in our situation you know that's just not how i roll you know what i mean so vice versa if it's a female i would say they need to talk to my wife first like if it's somebody i know you know from the city or whatever i'm gonna be like hey well I, i'm not planning nothing with you you know i gotta talk to my wife and then y'all can work it out because i don't ever want to be in a position like that in a good place and then damage it because I was in, had interaction with the opposite sex and it looked bad or made it seem bad. You know what I mean? The next thing is, what do you think about relationship statuses shown on on any type of social media? Do you do you have relationship status? Is it married in a relationship? What What do you think? I think it should be whatever your relationship status is. Like if you're married, I think it should definitely be married. Yeah. If it's complicated and you don't know what's going on. I think it should be complicated <laughs> if you are like separate 
or like, you know, single or whatever, then it should be single. But if you're single, but you're not sure because you do have like some smash buddies or whatever, mm -hmm. I think maybe it should be complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I don't know. I just... I think it should be whatever your relationship status is. Like, what do you think? Yeah, it all depends on what relationship. If you're married, of course, you need to stay yeah. married. If you're in a relationship and you haven't defined it, be careful because that other person might have defined their relationship. So you probably want to have a conversation because you don't want to make action and hurt anybody's feelings because you didn't have a conversation. But if you are in a relationship, just say you're in a relationship. I mean, don't hide it because, like I said, that's sneaky. It seemed deceitful, so just don't do it. So how much do you think that you include your kids and like your spouse on social media? So if you're married and you always with your spouse and your children or whoever, they should be on your social media. Now, I'm not saying they should run it, but good. we post things on social media that are good. Um, that we want to want people to talk about all these all these type of things. It's our life, so they should be a part of it. That doesn't mean they have to be some huge major part of it, but they need to be on there somewhere because I think that's an indication for people that oh they're in a relationship and they're happy in a relationship, right? So make sure you show those things. That's just my perspective. Make sure you show uh, once in a while maybe some intimacy with your your spouse, a hug, a kiss, a with your family, you know, you're chilling, doing something. Because if they don't see those things and somebody from who knows where just comes in and they're, they're thinking like, oh, well, I don't see nobody on their page. I don't see no pictures. Uh, you know, I'm DMing right now. You know what I mean? So okay. just being clear with what you're doing in your life and what your uh, relationship status is through your pictures. Straight up. Yeah, I agree. Like, I definitely... um I have, I think, us on there, pictures of both of us. I, I think I have the kids on my social media. I just, like, whatever, you know, whoever I'm with, if I, I just take a picture and, like, post it. I'm more of, like, a Snapchat person because I just like to take it in the moment. Yeah. Like, I like to live in the moment and let's just, like, take a quick picture and, like, I just instantly post. And I... I'm really bad about that because, like, a lot of times you'll be like, you didn't even let me see the picture. Like, right, because I can look jacked up, man. You know, like, she a pretty girl. Like, I got to make sure I'm straight because okay. I'm straight up. But, I mean, that's important. I think if when you have social media and you don't have any fears or questions when you use it or feel any type of way and everything is natural, you probably are doing things the appropriate way. You know what I mean? Like when you, if you go like somebody's picture and you had to think about it, you probably shouldn't. You know what I mean? If you go and if somebody you add somebody and you're like, mm, mm, I don't know. That would mean no. <laughs> right? or that would mean let me talk to my spouse, spouse or, or your partner about it. You know? So. Oh, what do you think about like having a like together page? Like when you guys are together, like the same. Like let's like like we used to have a Facebook page. Like did you know we used you, to have a yeah, Facebook page? Facebook. Man, I think I think that gets confusing because who posts what? You know, like it's just there's no possession in it in a way. I I don't think it's a bad thing, but it's hard to define it. Like if I want to post a picture, can we both link in? I'm not that tech savvy. Or can we both <laughs> share at the same time on the on social media? And be a part of it, or is that one one user? I don't know. Maybe that's a question y'all can ask for us. Yeah, you know, answer for us. Like I don't know. I don't know how that would happen, but yeah, that I don't know. If you both both can post at the same time. Yeah. I just at the time when I created our Facebook together, um, it was like we were in Germany, mm -hmm. and it was just a way for our family to just like stay in touch with each other. So they needed to know like it was me and you because you are not tech savvy and you're not going to post pictures and you're just not going to be right. <laughs> and I was not going to log in to two separate accounts to like post. Now, do I think it's kind of like generic and corny? I think in a way it is. Yeah. But I do think that social media is social media not like LinkedIn, like, yeah. I think, like, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and things are, like, 
that's what it's for. Like, it's to promote your businesses. Mm -hmm. It's to stay in touch with family, mm -hmm. friends from high school. Yep. It's not to, like, hook up, link yeah, up. Perhaps. It's not a dating app. app. Right. <laughs> Don't like, treat, if you treat your social media like a dating app, you already wrong. And that could be a habit that you had. Now you are in a relationship and you have to step away from it like that. You know what I mean? Say you was on a dating set, a dating site and you put a whole bunch of requests out there and then a person, you know, comments back and then you go on a date with them and then end up being in a relationship. You got to let these other people know or change your status or do something. Because if you don't set those trends, you might be tempted the next time one of the messages come up to be like, oh, who is this? You know what I mean? It's just focus on one relationship at a time. Don't try to do too many. That's just my perspective because you cannot, you know, be honest and stay committed in a relationship if you're keeping secrets. Mm -hmm. Right. So. And it's important that you put up those blocks. Like Man. your partner shouldn't have to check your social media to make yep. sure nobody is like texting you and yep. stuff like that. Like in that aspect, I think having a joint page is like kind of corny because mm -hmm. I, sh I shouldn't have to check up after you. Yeah, no, yeah. You know, like, you know, we both grown yep. or, you know, whatever. So, you know, what's appropriate, what's not appropriate, you know, what's like our rules to our relationship. Yep. So just be respectful and do the right thing. So then that way, like, it won't be any issues. And it's not like it's a social media issue. It's a our relationship issue. It's yeah. what people don't realize. You guys need to get to the bottom of like whatever that problem is. If you feel like you have to share a page to make sure that your spouse isn't doing anything yeah. inappropriate or make sure like, you know, or not share a page, even like check their passwords and stuff like that like if you feel like you have to do right. all that it's something wrong with your relationship no matter if they're doing social media or not mm -hmm. and, I, and i think we got to check ourselves y'all check ourselves check yourself and make sure that it's you're doing what you're supposed to do in your relationship and you are not being misleading or doing anything inappropriate that's the first thing about it you don't want your your partner your spouse to jump in something and be like oh well, what is this? Like, you don't want to leave any door open. You know, we've been in situations where somebody will like something or somebody will pop up on our uh, friends and we'll have to have a conversation about it. Like, who is that? You know, what's going on with that? Why they commenting on your, you know, picture like that? You know, and that's things you got to do. And friends are some of the biggest offenders of this because we all have, we have a large group of friends that we both might know, but I don't necessarily know their intent at the time. You know what I mean? I might know them, but I'm like, yo, why you like that picture? Like, you know what I mean? So <laughs> just have a conversation and be honest and be straight up, you know, and then that way it'll be clear and understanding and that'll be that. So definitely. So, I mean, you guys continue the conversation. If you have any like um, thing that you want to talk about or add to the whole social media thing, anything maybe have come up in your relationships as mm -hmm. far as like social media go definitely leave a comment below yep. like and subscribe like and subscribe y'all <laughs> deuces, deuces.